in the good old days, this doesn't happen because they used to treat them very, very rough. This country continues to fight it. Overnight, Minneapolis on fire. Police department initially said Floyd had been physically resisting. Security footage from a nearby business shows officers walking him across the street. USA! USA! I'm going to continue to stand with the people that are being oppressed. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. Just like the Russia hoax. It's a conspiracy theory used to divide the country and keep a hold on power. The hierarchy of white supremacy stands to fight off the calls for equality. One has used the myth of Negro and the myth of color to pretend and to assume that you are dealing essentially with something exotic, bizarre, and practically according to human laws unknown. Alas, that is not true. We are human too. The hierarchy of white supremacy stands to fight off the calls for minority empowerment. We live in a racist country that hasn't figured it out yet. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. No greater example than the 45th president of the United States. I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with uh, white supremacy or white supremacists. Are you willing tonight to condemn white supremacists and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down. Stand back and stand by. After the Black Lives Matter protests this summer, some colleges saw monuments renamed or torn down because of its troubling history. At the University of Texas, Austin, The school's official alma mater tune, The Eyes of Texas, was rumored to be on the chopping block, and for good reason. The song has been a sore subject for minority students for decades. The title was taken from a favored saying of a former school president who had mimicked remarks by Confederate General Robert E. Lee. The song was routinely performed by musicians in blackface at minstrel shows, and according to Texas Monthly's Joe Levin, these shows went on until the 60s and served as fundraisers organized by the students. Levin also confirms the white students dressed up in blackface. But yes, Robert E. Lee, the guy neo-Nazi white supremacists marched for with their tiki torches in Charlottesville, killing Heather Heyer and injuring many others. Robert E. Lee, the same man whose Confederate constitution said in all such territory the institution of N-word slavery, as it now exists in the Confederate States, shall be recognized and protected be Congress and by the territorial government. Even as the University of Texas ban refused to play the song, the school mandated it be played over the loudspeakers at home games. Now, we have more clarity of what went into this decision. After a photo surfaced of Texas quarterback Sam Ellinger alone on the field after a UT game, wealthy donors were pissed. They blasted off emails to UT Austin President Jay Hartzell calling the image of the abandoned quarterback disgusting, embarrassing, and disturbing. They demanded that the school stand up to cancel culture, drink y'all, and firmly get behind the song or else donors were going to walk away. Some though took a different route. It's time for you to put the foot down and make it perfectly clear that the heritage of Texas will not be lost, wrote another donor who graduated in 86, their name was redacted. It is sad that it's offending the blacks. As I said before, the blacks are free and it's time for them to move on to another state where everything is in their favor. Hey, racist asshole, name the state. Name the state where everything goes in their favor. Hilariously, because of the song's bigoted history, athletes are making their voices heard and because this doesn't swing in this clown's favor, he's throwing a fit. Irony indeed. When the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals' decision in the Hopwood versus Texas case resulted in UT no longer considering race as one factor in its admissions decisions, fewer black students enrolled. In 1969, UT became the last all-white NCAA football champion, a distinction that I imagine few UT alumni embrace with pride, wrote the author, except they do embrace it. It's called white pride. Less than 6% of our current student body is black, wrote Larry Wilkinson, a donor who graduated in 1970, quoting a stat UT Austin officials have stated they're working to improve. The tail cannot be allowed to wag the dog, and the dog must instead stand up for what is right. Nothing forces those students to attend UT. Encourage them to select an alternate school now. This is basically saying send them back, or Trump saying 
fire athletes, NFL players who protest or telling Kaepernick, find another country that works for him. That's what this is. Because donors like this despise black empowerment. They don't want to be seen as racist, so they defend a racist song by using buzzwords like history and heritage. We have heard this before from a white supremacist president citing those two when that history is, hate to say it, racist.